The overall goal of this procedure is to isolate magnetotactic bacteria from a freshwater environment. This is accomplished by first collecting water sediment samples from the edge of a river or lake. The second step is to isolate magnetotactic bacteria contained within the environmental sample using a bar magnet. Next, the magnetotactic bacteria are enriched using a glass capillary racetrack and magnet. Finally, the magnetotactic bacteria are characterized using optical microscopy. Ultimately, transmission electron microscopy is used to show the size and shape of the bacteria and their magnetite-containing magnetosomes. This method helps us understand key questions in environmental microbiology, such as how magnetotactics evolved on Earth and how magnetotactic bacteria synthesized nanometer-sized magnets. Demonstrating the procedure today will be Zachary A. Stryker. Zachary is a PhD candidate in my laboratory. He works with my brother and myself here at Ohio State University. When deciding on a freshwater site to collect magnetotactic bacteria, or MTB, it is often best to start with a pond or slow-moving stream that has a soft, muddy sediment layer. In this demonstration, we collected a sample at the edge of the Olentangy River on the campus of The Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. Find a location where the depth of the water is between 10 and 100 centimeters, and using a clear, screw-top container, half-fill the container with the uppermost layer of sediment and the remaining space with water, capping the container underwater. Back in the lab, loosen the cap and leave it covering the container to reduce evaporation and store it in the dark for several hours to several days to allow the sediment and fine particles to settle. <laughs>